Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Ross IASN YouTube channel. I'd like to share something a little bit different with you today. The majority of the videos we've shared so far have been things that you can physically interact with, do yourself at home, or listen to in some capacity. What we haven't done so far is shared anything that you can really use as an online resource. Now I know that we share things like that on Twitter, but I thought it'd be a good idea to show you a little bit of a tutorial on how to use one of these resources at home and how it might be useful for you and your learners. So, what you need to do first and foremost is go to your search engine and you need to type in the word top marks. Nothing else, nothing fancy, no full website, just in the word top marks. And the first result that you come up with is what you're going to be looking for. If we click into this website here, we're greeted with a few options to begin with. We have our search bar, so if you've used something in the past, maybe a game or an activity that you've enjoyed, you can search for it here and go straight into it. There's a subject selector if you're looking for a bit of inspiration, a list of different subjects here. Uh, and there's also an age group selector which coincides with the English education system but still relevant enough for us to use uh, depending on the age and stage that your child's at. There's even a section here for additional support needs as well uh, should you wish to look at those activities also. So just as a little example here I'm going to jump into the math section here. And I'm not going to set an age group at this moment in time, I'm just going to hit go. It's not a necessity to, to select one of those, you can search without it. The first result that comes up that seems to be one of the more popular activities on this website is hit the button. Now, hit the button um, is a very useful tool to use, especially if you have a touchscreen device, as it will allow you to work on different mathematical problems and then test your knowledge of them. Alrighty, and as you can see here, this uh, little white square in the corner allows you to go into a full screen mode, which um, I believe is default on mobile devices such as phones or tablets, but on computers and Macs and the like, I think you have to press this. It's useful, it gets rid of the white bars at the side and all of these distractions round about you so you can be fully immersed in the activity. Now, as you can see by these little dots here, there's a wide range of activities that you can choose from going from number bonds to times tables, division facts, etc, etc. Um, some people will be at a stage where they feel comfortable practicing their times tables, so just in case you would like to focus on one in particular, there is a section here where you can select one and practice exclusively that. So I'll show you how this works. I'll start with the two times table, hit play, and here you can see there's a question up at the top and a um, selection of answers that you can choose from. So I know that 4 times 2 is 8, 4 add 4 is 8, 2 lots of 4 is 8, so I look for the answer 8 here, and then just as the game name is, I hit the button. It makes a lovely wee noise there to let me know that I have the correct answer. If I make a mistake, not the end of the world. It lets me know right away that that is not what's correct, and it gives me another opportunity. I know that 7 times 2, 2 lots of 7 are 14, so I hit the button. 1 lot of 2, I know is 2, I hit the button. And it's a chance to get as many as I can in this timer. I don't think we should really worry about the timer, it's just good to hone our skills of our times table knowledge. If we're feeling super confident, we can go for mixed questions, which will take from all the times tables up to 10 or 12 depending on what you set it to. I know that 10 lots of 4 is 44 we times it by 10 is going to make 40, so I can press 40. I know that 3 times 6, 6 lots of 3 are 18, so I can press that. And again, if I make a mistake, not the end of the world. It lets me try and try and try until I get the correct answer. If multiplication is not quite where you're at at the moment, there's not a big deal there. All we need to do is go into this section here that says number bonds, and we can look at different mathematical problems to challenge yourself with. We could be looking at numbers up to 10, numbers up to 20, and numbers up to 100. We can look at number bonds, so numbers that make 10, or numbers that make 20, or numbers that make 100 in tens, or we can look at addition within these numbers. So having a look here for addition in between 10, a very similar idea to our times tables. I know that zero, add on one more, is going to be one. I know that six, if I hold up six fingers and then add on two more fingers, are going to give me eight fingers all together. I know that if I have two cubes and I put one more cube together with it, it'll make a group of three. 
This gives you an opportunity to practice all of your mathematical skills. So what I'd like to do is set you a little bit of a challenge. It might not be so easy to record this, especially if you're playing this on a device that you use for your video and purposes, but I would love to see on Twitter people interacting with this activity uh, at some point this week. If you would like to do so, please tweet it at us, that would be fantastic. And thank you very much for watching. I will be back again next week with a different activity for you to do online. Thank you.